Kukrudu! 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 Your Excellency, Mr. President, Your Excellency, Mr. Vice President, the Chief of Staff, leadership, and members of the Executive Committee of the Party, the Diplomatic Corps, representatives of various parties who are here, the media, and of course, members of our great party assembled here. First of all, on behalf of the National Executive Committee, and on my own behalf, I wish to welcome all of you to this very impressive National Congress in 2022. First of all, I will wish to thank the National Planning Committee, the Election Committee, and then all other committees that had worked hard to bring uh, this Congress that we are all witnessing to. But before I even go further, Mr. President, I will wish to crave your indulgence and that of all the leadership so that we observe one minute silence. I learned uh, a very strong uh, prominent member of our party, Mr. Samokuja too, passed away yesterday. And in the week, one MCE who was returning after a meeting also died. But these are not the only two I'm referring to. I'm referring to all others that in the year, in the four years before Congress had passed away. Can you observe one minute silence for them? I have been corrected. It's a member of the, of the Council of Elders. It's Agnes Okujetu. I'm sorry. I made a mistake. May their souls rest in peace, in perfect peace, until by his mercy we all meet again on the day that the Lord himself has set. Mr. President, I will also apologize that we have started this Congress a little late. We came across a few challenges and the transportation difficulties about the locations of members from the various regions had caused this, and I deeply apologize for the organizers who were in charge of this. We, we did not foresee those problems. Now today is yet another evidence of the NPP commitment to deepening our democratic culture and tradition. The theme for the year, this year's Congress is holding together, working together. Rightly so, Mr. President, as we expect to strengthen our bonds and resolve to remain united, we need to invigorate the party by undertaking a few elections as dictated by our Constitution. And today will be the last day for the climax of electing our officers from the constituency 
to the national level. And after that, I will appeal to all of us to work together, to stand together, irrespective of the result that will, even at this level, come up. Winners or losers, the party is the winner. It will only help to make our party strong, ready, and sharp for the task ahead. I'm talking of 2024. Mr. President, there is a need to deepen and strengthen the sense of inclusion in governance for all party members and ensuring we win the 2024 general election. Honestly, permit me to emphasize that the Nanato led MPP government over these last few years had initiated some of the boldest social economic policies in the history of Ghana. To bring about transformational changes in the area of education, healthcare, industry, agriculture, security, tourism, IT, among others. Despite the difficulties imposed on our government by internal and external economic factors in most recent times, we all should be able to present a strong case to the Ghanaians as to why the MPP government should be retained for the continuous improvement of these policies and the overall sustainable development of Ghana. Mr. President, having said so, for some of us, this is our last day as national office holders of the great party. I will therefore use this special occasion to thank all members of the party for the cooperation and support our team and I have enjoyed from you over a period of eight years. With me having served this great party as first national vice chair, acting national chair, and subsequently as national chairman. My special appreciation goes to the president, Mr. President Yu, for all the support you offered our team. The national executives and I inherited a party at a crossroad with so much uncertainty and turbulence. However, through your leadership and support and that of the National the Council of Elders, Mr. President and the National Executive Council, our team did deliver two successive undisputed general election victories for the NPP on the trot. Indeed, Mr. President, all your actions taken within the party during the period of our administration has been complementary and supportive in growing the NPP influence as a political party of choice in our dear country. Today, I can confidently argue in humility, though, that the party has become more attractive, vibrant, and united. Permit me also to say that the NPP is as much in a better shape than what our team inherited. It has not been easy, Mr. President, or smooth sailing. And in spite of all odds and challenges, through teamwork, tolerance, and patience, we are still together 
more united than ever. I will pr proudly say in humility that we did our best and achieved that much. The MPP is a great party and we should strive to even make it greater. The growth of the country by way of good governance, economic development, massive infrastructure and accountability largely depends on the NPP, I dare say so. On behalf of my entire family and the team, I want to thank you all for everything. Personally, from whatever perspective, Mr. President, I remain absolutely grateful and most obliged for the privilege and honor done to me by letting me serve as a national chairman. In conclusion, Mr. President, I strongly appeal and emphasize that we should all continue to remain united and focus on the greater task ahead of us, irrespective of our individual differences, personal ambitions, and disappointments. Always remember that we are all have a duty to ensure that come December 7th, 2024, the party is retained in power to continue the good works of yourself and your team. I encourage all to utilize the tools of negotiations and strategic consensus building in uniting and strengthening the party for victory 2024. When need be and duty calls, we should all be willing to make the needed sacrifices and compromises in the interests of the party and the country. Mr. President, let not make mistake about it. We definitely are in the same boat, and when the party emerges winner, we all win. At this point, Mr. President, I will wish ourselves an incident free, fair, and transparent election. I thank you all for your attention. Thank you very much.